Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Well, the brand new patch is here. Update 1.61. These are the patch notes. Not gonna take up too much of your time. And once again, thanks for watching my tune. Let's get started with the brand new update. First off, we have quests and open worlds. Under this, they fixed the issue where spamming the interact button to loot containers could cause various NCPD scanner hustlers to not be completed properly. Reported crime, another circle of hell, lost and found, blood in the air, disloyal employee, don't forget the parking brake, comrade red, fixed issue where quest wasn't completed after looting the goods. Fixed issue where some assault in progress missions in Northside Rancho Coronado, Coast View and Badlands weren't completed despite fulfilling the objective. Fixed issue where some spectated organized crime activities weren't completed despite fulfilling the objective. Fixed issue that could disable all drop points blocking progress in various gigs. And fixed issue where it was possible to complete an assault in progress in Charter Hill because the evidence didn't spawn. Cyber Psycho Sighting House on a Hill. Fixed issue where it wasn't possible to reach the Cyber Cycle because the garage door didn't open. Cyber Cycle Sighting where the bodies hit the floor. Fixed issue where the quest was stuck on the find the Cyber Cycle objective after defeating the Cyber Cycle and sending information to Regina. Gig Arrow 404. Fixed issue where the gig didn't trigger after approaching the area. Gig Freedom of the Press. Fixed issue where it wasn't possible to proceed inside the TV station building because the doors was closed. Gig Greed Never Pays. Fixed issue where it was impossible to complete the search to a hidden room objective because the computer was unpowered. Gig last login fixed the issue where the gig didn't trigger after approaching the area. Gig no fixer fixed the issue where the gig didn't trigger after appearing the area. Gig old friends fixed the issue where the gig didn't trigger after approaching the area. Gig playing for keeps fixed the issue where it was wasn't impossible to speak to the bartender if combat started inside the bar blocking progress. Gig we have your wife fixed the issue where Lauren wasn't reacting after coming to rescue her blocking progress. Automatic love fixed the issue that could block progress to further main quest after leaving clouds. Fortunate son fixed the issue where it wasn't possible to progress past the return the Al Decados camp objective. I fought the law fixed the issue where after meeting up with River he teleported to an unreachable area underground blocking progress. And small man big mouth fixed the issue where the truck in the garage could be despawned blocking progress. Now we have visual. Night City NPCs will now carry umbrellas in various colors and shapes, fix multiple instances of missing collisions that could result with players falling off the map, corrected various floating or displaced objects on the map, fix the issue where V's breast clips through clothes and changing their size at a rubber dock, fix the issue where after changing nail length from long to short using the mirror, the change wasn't reflected in game until reloading the save, and fix the issue where cars can glitch after bumping into them. Of the gameplay, fix the issue where Head Hunter and Blue Fang iconic knives will not appear in the vendor's inventory if player visited the vendor before the 1.6 packs. Crit damage and quick hack cooldown reduction bonuses and clothing should now work properly. It should now be possible to craft the legendary variant of the Amnesty iconic revolver, which is pretty cool. Fix the issue where it was possible to use the consumables during fist fight. Fix the issue where weapons with explosive damage were dealing less damage than intended. Fix the issue where slotted mods disappeared from an item after selling it to a vendor, leaving and then coming back to the same vendor. Fix the issue where putting a corpse into a container or a truck walking away and then coming back can give a player an infinite amount of money. The heat resistant Ahmad we fix their shirt will now be also billable for the non street kick players and fix the issue where firing some weapons when fall off could cancel fall off damage. Under UI, the beast in me fixed the issue where player's position could be shown as 1-6 despite coming second. Fixed the issue where reverting key bindings back to default was not reflected in the game until restart reloaded. Fixed the issue where the inventory menu could rapidly scroll up and down after dissembling a drop of an item. Now for PC specific. Fix the issue with temporary FPS drops when exiting menus. Address the issue where achievements in Epic Game Store were not granted despite meeting the requirements. Note that in cases where the conditions were met before in given save, it might be required to try on a new playthrough or from an earlier save where the conditions were not met yet. The load menu should no longer get stuck when playing the game on GOG without internet connection. And fix the issue where upgrading an item into a higher tier rarity crashed the game. Now for console specific. Fix the issue where cross progression 
saves from the Xbox One family were transferred to PC or PlayStation, fix the issue where after logging into GOG on PlayStation, my rewards section displayed an error. For Stadia specific, yeah, still Stadia, fix the issue where the game didn't pause when gameplay was suspended. And now we have miscellaneous. They added support for AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.1 PC and next gen consoles only. Fix the issue where in specific circumstances Judy could disappear from the game while in her apartment. Fix the issue where the wardrobe interaction in the Nomad Cat was duplicated after skipping time there. And last but not least, it will no longer be possible to play in arcade machines that are placed horizontally. So there you have it. The brand new update is here and some very significant changes in the game. I'll be getting into it and hopefully you will too. But for right now, that's pretty much going to the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Gaming. and upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.